What's up, everyone? How you guys doing? Welcome to the show. It is your biker news time. We got some information regarding that stuff that happened over at Fall River. Yes, we do. We got that information. Plus, we got some good stuff happening uh, in this scene. A uh, local motorcycle club hosted Wanderfest as well as the new ugly, I'm talking ugly, trademark Harley Davidson just made for the Bronx. I'm sitting here like, what are you, crazy man? I don't know what's going on anymore with Harley Davidson. This one is an abomination. It looks like a Ducati, for Christ's sakes. Anyway, let's go to uh, the stories for today. There we go here. Let's see here. TriStateHomePage.com news. Mount Vernon, Indiana, a social civic motorcycle organization, had a big party for the citizens of the Tri-State. The Wanderers celebrated its six-year anniversary at the riverfront in Mount Verdon on May 14th. The Wanderer Fest had food trucks, music from the Mount Vernon High School jazz band, puppies, and bikes. Who doesn't like a good old puppy? Especially a pit puppy. You gotta love them. The purpose was to let the community know what great things the Wanderers had accomplished in its six years of existence. The group handed out two scholarships to Nikki Mayo. Morgan Wilson and Mayo attends Boonville High School and plans to attend the Academy of Hair Design. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, the Wanderers have made donations to the Cri Christians Biker Association. Rock on. If you want to learn more about Wanderfest, all you have to do is go to their Facebook page. Next up, here's the abomination. It looks like a damn Ducati. Are you kidding me? You're crazy. I guess the younger kids would be in it. But this is the new Bronx Street Fighter? Harley Davidson files new trademark for the Bronx. Wow. The development sparks the possibility Harley Davidson Bronx Street Fighter making it to production in the future, but there's a catch, I guess. Uh, the Harley Davidson Bronx appeared first as an unnamed future model with the Street Fighter design in 2018. The model, part of the Harley-Davidson, the former Harley-Davidson CEO's More Roads to Harley-Davidson strategy was even unveiled at the 2019 motorcycle show in Milan. Initially, the Bronx was supposed to be introduced along with the Pan American. Both new models with Harley-Davidson New Revolution Max engine uh, in fact, the Bronx design had an Indian connection, too, with the street uh, fighter design coming from Harley-Davidson senior designer Chedin Shadewell, who also designed the new now discontinued street rod. I don't know, fellas and gals. I'm kind of upset the way Harley-Davidson is going right now with this one. It does look like a Ducati to me. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, when in, unveiled in 2019, the specs were also announced. It's going to be a 97 or 975 cc liquid cooled 60 degree B twin rev, putting out a claimed 115 bhp and 95 nm. Uh, Levetich left Harley Davidson, and while Pan America 1250 made it to production, the Bronx was shelved. Keep it shelved, man. Keep it shelved, please. Unbelievable. Now, with the Harley Davidson filing a new trademark for the Bronx name, 
the Street Fighter could make a comeback in the near future, but there's the catch. There's been a change to U.S. trademark law with the Trademark Modernization Act, which makes it easy to cancel unused trademarks after three years, so owners' rights to trademarks can be removed after they registered. I still can't believe this look. Uh, trademarks not used. The original Bronx trademark was filed in 2017 with a fresh filing last month. It seems Harley Davidson has not get, given up on the Bronx name altogether. Well, if it's going to be the Bronx, give it something that looks tough, man. Not a Ducati ripoff. Man, uh, not only are you messing with the damn sporty, but now with this, I don't get it, man. I know you're looking for the future, but come on. Unbelievable. Are you cr you're kidding me? <sighs> I know evolution is supposed to come with how the scene goes forward. But this ain't the evolution we're looking for, is it? Harley was supposed to be loud. Had that rumble to it. If you're getting into the sports bikes, get into the sports bikes. Don't do it half-assed like this. I know Ducati's a good motorcycle. I just don't like the designs. I don't. Anyway, that update... This from the Toronto Sun, and it was something else, this article. The media is also something else kind of special. Now, everybody knew what happened, okay? We covered that, and everybody's probably known from, you know, that video and everywhere else. Goes on to say, and this is what we're in a center on. Officials have not identified which motorcycle clubs were involved. Although sources told reporter Tim White it was likely between longtime rivals, the Hells Angels and the Pagan, who are affiliated with the Outlaw Motorcycle Club. Wow. What a statement there, huh? Affiliated with the... Those are... Let's see here. You're talking about three of the big five right there. And now all of a sudden, they're affiliated. That is the problem with media. They don't know what they're talking about. And that kind of stuff can cause a lot of issues. Yes, the Hells Angels... And the pagans got down. But to bring in another club, messed up if you ask me. Now this was according to their sources. That that's who it was involved. It's sickening, isn't it? Everything comes to sources nowadays in media. But they don't name their sources. Which means they're either lying or they're making it up. That is the problem with the news media today. It's no longer journalism. And that's sad for this country. Because journalists used to hold the government accountable. Used to hold businesses accountable. But now they're either on the left or the right. But to take a word of a source on something so important as a story like this that can affect a lot of people on the streets is down, it's downright ridiculous. It's downright borderline malpractice. It's just insanity the way this new generation of journalists act. Unbelievable.
We're going to go to the second half of the show right now with China Dow right after this music break. Don't forget, you can listen to it on Discord in the radio room. Get the Google Play app, Insane Throttle Radio, or you can go to InsaneThrottleTV.com. We'll be right back. 